Good afternoon, everybody. Have you been anxiously waiting for me to come on? <laughs> Sorry I'm getting a later start, but I had to watch QVC first because Quacker Factory was on for two hours, and so <laughs> I'm a fan of that brand, so I had to watch it. But anyway, on the weekend, I promised you all when I did my Stitch Fix video and my Trunk Club video that today I would do a comparison of the two. Now let me backtrack a little bit to explain to you how I got into doing them. I'll, I'll try to do it a, a condensed version of how I got into YouTube. And, and that was a year ago. My daughter had been doing it and uh, her site on YouTube is Michelle Escalin and I'll put her name down below because you need to go in and check out her video. She's in her early 40s, so she's probably more your age groups. <laughs> and uh, she's this close to her thousand subscribers. So I'll help grandma out and uh, go in and, and subscribe to her videos. <laughs> anyway, she was moving cross country from Florida to Las Vegas. And uh, when she moved to the East Coast, in 2005, she asked if I would ride with her, which I did. So we did a cross-country trip. It was really, you know, cool. We had our moments. But then uh, when she and her husband decided to move to Vegas, she asked if I would do another road trip with her, but this way. Well, I'm so anxious and excited to have her back on the West Coast. I agreed. So it was Michelle and I and her two cats, Marty and Zelda, who uh, Marty appears quite often in her videos, so you got to check him out. Anyway, she asked if I, I would mind being in her videos because she wanted to do the cross-country trip on YouTube. And I thought, oh, God, nobody wants to see old dorky old me, right? <laughs> so I got to admit, the first few I felt kind of really funny. And, and when you first see yourself in a video... You, you notice all these things. Oh, my God, I didn't realize that I do this. You know? <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, um, we did the videos, and you've got to go back and watch them, especially our first day on the road. I mean, it was hysterical. We couldn't even find our way out of Tampa. And like, how are we going to do a cross-country trip? But anyway, that got me interested in doing them. So a few months after that's when I started doing my videos. And uh, you know, Michelle was experimenting with a lot of different things to do. She found her, her niche, niche, whatever you call it. And she started doing like Stitch Fix, uh, Wanda Bowl, Trunk Club, you know, a bunch of those things. And so that kind of got me interested too. I mean, I mean, I've been really a QVC gal for quite a few years, you know. Uh, so I thought, well, what the heck, I'll try it. So, here we are doing a versus, a punch out of the two kinds. <laughs> now, we are really comparing apples to apples because both boxes I did on the weekend were my third boxes from each place, okay? So, uh, I feel I'm being you know, pretty, pretty fair and objective when it comes to them. Now, bear in mind, little disclaimer, these are my opinions, okay? <laughs> I am no long, no, no way affiliated as far as, you know, with, with Nordstrom's or Stitch Fix. You know, they don't pay me to do this or, or anything. You know, I include my link down below because if, if you want to sign up with them and try them out, if you're going through my link, you get some money credit, and so do I. So that helps both of us. But that's the only thing, itch. The only thing we, I get. So, um... I thought, you know, there's some of you are kind of on the fence as to which one should you try, if, if any. So I thought, well, these two seem to be the real popular ones. So I'm going to start with, uh, of course, the, the two of them. Stitch Fix has a styling fee of $20. Trunk Club fee is $25. So, um, you know, when, if you buy something, that money goes towards what you've bought. So it's wise to always buy at least one thing. <laughs> so you may feel like you got something for your 20 or $25. I always just buy one thing. Usually there's at least one thing I like. Um, and if it's, if, 
if there's nothing you like, at least buy the one thing and then sell it on eBay or Poshmark, you know, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of the background behind them. Both of them have free return shipping. It's very easy. I mean, uh, Stitch Fix always comes with an envelope. Um, Trunk Club, these three months, always has had at least one pair of sandals or shoes in there. So it's always come in a bigger box, as you can see from the, my um, thumbnail. <laughs> so you just pack it all up, put it on your porch when you're going to check out on you know, Nordstrom's Tell UPS to come pick it up. I think mine's probably been picked up out there today. <laughs> so anyway, with Stitch, with, with Stitch Fix, I've been getting an average of about five items, five, six items. And I've been very happy with them. The first box I got, I think I ended up buying everything, which for me, that's odd. Because I gotta be honest, I tried them last year, last summer, and I wasn't real pleased with what they sent me. It just didn't seem like my kind of stuff. And so I just, you know, I got maybe one, two boxes and then quit using it. But this year, you know, my daughter's been showing such cute items that she's been getting from them. So I thought, well, I'm gonna give them another try, you know, especially while I'm trying to build up my subscriber base here. <laughs> you can trust me to always be honest with you, that's for sure. Um, so the first box I got, I was amazed, you know, because when you sign up, they ask you all kinds of questions about things you like, things you don't like, things you need, things you don't need, uh, your sizes. And if any time during your subscription with them, you find your size has changed, like for the smaller, which would be nice, you can go in and change what size items you want. So when this box came, and, and so many of them were like, what I like to wear, a little different though, because I'm always in t-shirts and stuff. And some of these are a little bit more, um, I don't know, what do you say? A little more fancy or a little frillier, you know, you know, but I liked them. <laughs> so I ended up buying the whole box, like I said. And I thought, well, this can't happen again. Well, second box came, and I don't remember, how many did I buy in the second box? Not all of them. I think it was just one or two items in, in that one, and mainly because what they sent were things that I just didn't need. Not that I didn't like most of them. You can go back and watch the video and see what it said. <laughs> and then this last box that I got the other day, I managed to find two items. So two out of five, that's, that's pretty good, you know, when they're just guessing based on information you provide to them, uh, what would look good on you and what you like. So I, uh, at, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you which subscription box I like better, Trunk Club or Stitch Club. Stitch Fix or Trunk Club. <laughs> and I'll also tell you which one my daughter still gets too. So stick around for that at least. <laughs> Uh, what more can I tell you? One thing about Stitch Fix is they always send this little uh, card. And you can see, they always, um, they give suggestions on, on what you can pair the items with. See, I, I got this top and this top. So um, that's one thing that's nice. That they, do, they do that. On their billing, where they list the prices, they also are nice enough to put the grand total and what you know when, if you buy all of them, what your discount is, um, minus your fee. Now I've I've had some credit because some of you have been nice enough to use my link to go in and subscribe, so you know, it gets down to of course free shipping as to what for the whole box it would cost you. Then when you go online and you mark which ones you want to return, and they ask you what you don't like about them, so that helps them decide what to send you next time. As you mark the ones you want to keep uh, and you go to check out, they do that breakdown for you. So with the ones I bought on the weekend from Stitch Fix, I think it cost me $16 for two shirts, no, 16 extra, which, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty darn good. Uh, their prices, sometimes they seem 
high to me, but that's because I'm used to buying on QVC and, and, uh, and I know which brands on there are in the price range that I like to, to, to pay. And I, and I try to buy a lot of things in clears. So, um, but they've been pretty good. Some of them I've been amazed at, at how much they, they are and the quality seems to be there. I thought at first, you know, that if I got this box of things, that it'd be junky stuff or things that were, were so trendy that are in like for this year. And it's like, oh, I don't like to buy things I can only wear one year. <laughs> yeah. So um, I've been pleased. I have been very pleased, gotta say. And as I'm talking, I'm sure I'll think of other things to add, but let's move on to Trunk Club. Trunk Club, like I say, $25 styling fees, same exact thing. What you buy, you get the $25 goes towards what you buy. Um, the first box, I can't even remember. <laughs> I, I've, I've bought something from each box that I've gotten. And the clothes have been really cute. Now, I used to be one that back in my uh, 30s, main place I shopped in was Nordstrom's. So um, I thought I'd, I'd get things similar to like what I used to, you know, the brands that I used to shop for back then. But so far I haven't seen any of the same brands, so I guess they've, they've changed through, along the way. Back then I didn't worry as much about the money because, you know, when you're younger you just feel like, I deserve it, I should have it, you know. <laughs> Whereas when you get older, you, you tend to be a little more careful on your spending, though it doesn't look like it with the amounts I spend. But anyway, the problem I found was many of the items were just so expensive. Um, and I, I meant to add up all these for this one, but um, I'm pretty sure it has to come to one, two, three, at least between four, maybe $500 if I bought the whole box. But they do have like nine items. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, eight, 11 items in there. So of course the total would be higher. <laughs> um, the quality of the clothing's been very good. They've been sending really cute shoes. I just haven't needed them. And like I say, a lot of the things I liked and thought were really cute, but it wasn't something I, I needed or that I felt I would wear a lot. Um, what more can I say? I went into more detail on Stitch Fix. I better uh, <laughs> let's think of more things to say about Trunk Club. <laughs> uh, I noticed that jewelry tends to be expensive. And, and in my... Um, feedback I've given them, I've tried telling them that I really prefer to have items, you know, under 50 or $75, but maybe that sounds cheap, but what the heck. <laughs> and with, with the trunk club, of course, when you're done, you go online, you tell them what you want to keep, what you want to return, or if you want to exchange for a different size, you can do that too. I didn't mention that on Stitch Fix, but you can do the same thing. Um, and you pack it back up in their box, you go online, you tell UPS, you tell them that you want UPS to come pick it up, or you can take it to UPS, or you can take it to the post office. So what I do is I, um, I just have UPS pick it up. During these virus times, that's great, you know, totally contactless. <laughs> you know, it's all these new words we're, we're getting this summer. <laughs> so, um... They don't include something like this. They just you know, include the clothing and like I say, and then they have their the one little uh, you know sheet like this, and you know the listing of everything. Now I've noticed in other boxes though, there would be one price on the item and then a lower price on the list. I didn't find that this this time, so I don't know if it's because they're you know in the, in the, in the midst of switching over to fall items or what, but I, I would think that things would be more on sale, you know, clearance uh, this time of year, getting rid of all the summer to get the fall on. So, what would you, you may, oh, I need to drink something. 
I'm on a new medication when the doctor said, now it may cause dry mouth. <laughs> dry mouth? If you see pieces of cotton falling out of my mouth, you know it's dry. <laughs> so that's the side effect from a, a medication. I don't take very many, but I had to take this one. So anyway, <laughs> which one would I be more apt to keep if I had to get rid of one? And I'm not getting rid of either one yet. Okay. I would keep, where'd I get this one from? You've been paying attention. Stitch Fix. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised myself, you know, because I used to be such a big Nordstrom shopper. And, uh, and the experience I had last year with Stitch Fix wasn't the greatest. And so I've been really happy and surprised with them. So if I had to pick just one, I would pick, pick the Stitch Fix. Now, as you know, I'm a woman of a particular age, you know, 70. So a lot of people, sometimes around my age, they just kind of, just don't, I don't know. I'm not saying everybody. Some people just don't care that much about what they, what they wear anymore. <laughs> but I tend to be more of the casual kind of person and so I, I wear a lot of these types of t-shirts and crop pants and capris, you know, right? And I still wear shorts sometimes. So I, you know, I like to have a big variety, as all my friends know. <laughs> and we like to travel a lot, and these are just the most comfortable things to travel with. Now, you may even see these things on my daughter, who's in her early 40s. So, <laughs> you know. Now, she may be thinking right now, oh, Mom, I do not wear what you wear. But no, not everything like what I wear, but, you know, we're, we're pretty similar <laughs> in so many ways. So which one, you ask, is Michelle still using? She's still using Stitch Fix. She has a couple of others, too, but there are not any that I've tried. So uh, some of her others... I notice tend to have more of the, the uh, more of the trendy or younger younger look. You know? Whereas I find Stitch Fix has kind of a variety, and it depends on what you tell them that you want. You know, if you, if you say I want boho, they'll send you probably boho type stuff. If you say I want to look like I'm 80 years old, they'd probably send you stuff for that. <laughs> so it's it's all in what you tell them. So, for those of you on the fence, I hope I've helped you. I notice a lot of you gals who have been subscribing to my station are around the same age group as my daughter. So, pay attention. And if you do join one, give it at least two, three tries before giving up on it, I'd, I'd say. Now, you know, granted, there's one that I just tried recently that the first one I got, it was like, uh-uh, and I already canceled it. So another one that I get, and that was only my first one with them. So I'm giving them at least another, another try. So, hope you're all having a good day. Sorry it took so late to get this on. I have appointments tomorrow, so I won't be posting anything tomorrow. And I need to get some stuff to post. I may do a Dollar Tree run tomorrow, you know, and then do that on, on Wednesday or so. Anyway, hope you're all having a wonderful summer. Hope you all are loving watching these videos. I, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for all of you, and I really appreciate it. I mean, I, it just really surprised me, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so, hang in there. We're in August. Let that summer go. <laughs> Haven't done anything, <laughs> but we've tried to make the best of our situation the way it is. It's, you know, stay at home, little staycations, that kind of stuff. So what can you do? Can't sit around moping about it or worrying about it. It's going to, what's going to happen is going to happen. When it's your time to go, you go, you know. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you later in the week again. Hope you have a good, happy day, and I love you all. Bye.